There's that picture of yours coming on in there. No? The studio is a constant. It is always here on a Monday and a Friday and whatever else is happening in people's lives, we're always here. Runs on Monday and Friday, Mondays at the moment 10 till 2, Fridays 10 till 5. It's open to anybody from any background and ability. It's very inclusive, it's, it, it's an open art studio, so that we really want to be, have access for anybody. Everybody else helps everybody else to settle in and get to know each other. It's like a little community, like everyone groups together, has a really good time. It's not, it's mainly about the art, but it's, it's not just that, it's like somewhere for everyone to go just for a bit of company and... Um, time away from their lives, something to do for themselves. It raises an awful lot of self-esteem. There are a number of members who came in very, very nervous, shy, as anybody would uh, in a new situation, who have quite noticeably grown in their self-confidence. It's brought me out of my shell because I was bereaved a short while ago, my husband died, and I just didn't want to go out or go anywhere. And that, they sent me here from St Teresa's and I, I'm enjoying it tremendously. I feel as though my confidence has improved since I've been here. Um, my confidence with talking with other people and just I uh, go around the group and ask people about the work and they always like comment and it's really interesting. Is that black or grey? It looks grey. It's grey, but it's very okay. What do you think? Yeah. It's given them a chance to, as I say, to do something that they've never done before. And try out different things, mosaic, ceramics, glass painting, which seems to be incredibly popular. Darlington Media Group has uh, historically prided itself as being a place where anyone can come and access all forms of media art. We're very much an open access workshop. So it was natural, really, to uh, begin to work in partnership with the open arts. We produced a short, I think, 30-second film called Tea Break. France is famous for its wine, its beer in Germany. Turkey has its coffee, and they serve it black of an ink. Russians go for vodka, and England loves it. And the light was kind. Yeah, it was a lovely sunny day and strong, strong cross light. Um, tutors are on hand if you want advice, etc. But you're not forced along at a particular pace. And uh, it's not like a lesson, so people can progress at their own pace. And it's just great because you can do what you like, how you like, when you like, and it's very special for that because it gives you a chance to develop things you've never tried before. There's so many things to explore, there's so many um, sort of possibilities and the more I teach, the more other people come, come in with new things, brand new, brand new ideas and that I haven't even explored, you know, so, so I'm quite happy to share my, my knowledge. <laughs> a lot of people have at least one origami book at home and they often got as a present and they often try to make origami by, fo by following instructions and they find it very hard. So when they come here today, and when they be sure how to do it, step by step, four by four, and we make sure that nobody gets left behind, and they can they find that they can do it. You're pulling hospital to make them So it isn't just a case of we're there 
to serve the members and provide things for them. We've gained so much. I love it. I miss it if I'm not here. Definitely. Uh, it's meant a lot to me over the actual four years because I, I was actually one of the original people who came along and it's nice to see that it's been developed from that. If you're feeling a bit down or something, you can develop a picture and it sort of can express what you're feeling or you can rub it away and feel good about just yourself, just for a very short time, and it's, that's nice. I think it's very valuable, really. Well, I did a, had a piece of, of Everest, especially. I can't imagine ever spending a day without doing something, drawing or painting. It's just, for as long as I can remember, I've always done it. And regardless of everything else I'm doing, I've still got to find a little spot in the day for it. Um, and it does give you a purpose. It gives you a reason for getting up in the morning. It gives you... Um, I don't know. I don't know what I would have done without it. They'd only come this morning. They'd, they'd come in about half past ten. They'd only come to have a look and then ended up staying until about half past one and absolutely delighted what they'd taken away with them. I'm going down now. Away. Take care, see you soon. Bye. 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 Hi, I'm Jason. I'm the cameraman for this film that we've been doing. It's great to be involved in the Open Arts Studio project. Uh, it's been a joy to film, um, and the members and the staff are just so great to get along with. The mood here is, is as I've said about three times already, infectious. <laughs>